Can I really trust the preview screen on any camera? Here's the reason why I ask. I'm shooting this particular image right now using my Canon XA30 professional compact camcorder. And I'm using, I'm shooting it in auto mode. Now, if I look at the preview screen, it looks like it's a pretty good image. However, when I took the SD uh, RAM out and put it into my uh, computer and brought it up, uh, brought the little short intro up in PowerDirector 16, I wasn't quite as happy with it and it didn't quite look like what I wanted and what I thought I had on the preview screen. This is a good example as far as I'm concerned why I need to shoot in manual settings. Now, this is in manual settings, and you might be asking yourself, well, this is so dark I can't see anything. And that's true. The reason why is I don't have enough light. So if I turn the light on, and I'm going to turn on a main light, a fill light, and just for grins, I'm going to add another light there. Now the image is much better. Now how do I know if the first indication of trusting the preview screen was a little bit shaky? How do I become more, how do I get this image and exposure more concise? by using a light meter. This is a Sekonic L308S uh, light meter. It, uh, it is no longer supported by Sekonic, but it is, there's plenty of them out there, and there has been upgrades to it, but this is a very uh, simple, inexpensive light meter that uh, the function of it works great and uh, I've had it for a number of years and it will allow me to go into the uh, cinematic mode which is what I want to do when I uh, am using this on video. In the image that you see now the L308S is configured uh, for using the light meter when taking stills and it shows uh, you have to set where you have to set the ISO and uh, it will give you uh, the f-stop and you can select a shutter speed and those, those uh, are the three real keys uh, uh, that you have to know when you use a, a light meter is ISO uh, shutter speed and aperture or f-stop and uh, that's critical when you're taking still photos. In order to get to the cinematic mode using the up scroll button uh, which you see on the image to the right you want to scroll up and uh, change uh, the mode uh, until and you continue to scroll up until you see the F slash S and when you reach that then you're in the cinematic mode. Notice on the left side of the meter on the screen the initials SS which stands for shutter speed 
when you are in the cine mode or the cinematic mode, that's the location that's going to show frame rate. Frame rate is going to be determined by what you have set in your camera. On my XA30 for this particular video, I have a frame rate of 30 frames per second. To accomplish that, of course, you change the frame rate uh, speed by again going to the up and down arrows. Incidentally, if you wanted to determine the ISO, depress the ISO button and then use the measuring button, which is directly above the up and down buttons, and scroll until you reach the ISO. It's a real simple process. I bring this up because it is useful to know if you are shooting the video uh, with your SLR or like in my case where I'm shooting a video with my XA30 and I want to use my Canon 70 Mark II uh, to have a different angle on the subject, uh, I can get the same exposure uh, by using the same meter readings. Well, there you have it. That's how you set the L308S Sakonic light meter in the cinematic mode. Good luck on your video shooting.